Hi, welcome to this video. And in this one, I will be going over and comparing and contrasting the three liquid lip balm, balm gloss type items that I really love. And in particular, I have the Rare Beauty liquid lip balm and the YSL Volupt liquid color balm and the Rowan liquid lip balm. Um, actually, I think the Rare Beauty one advertises themselves as a gloss balm, but in any case, these all are like a similar and new budding trope. I don't see that many other items like this on the market um, that really advertise themselves as something between a balm and a gloss. And I guess I kind of wanted to just touch on my experience with them. It kind of seems kitschy at first or like gimmicky at first because it's like, oh, a, a gloss is already like hydrating and similar to a lip balm. Like, what, what? Are you just slapping a label on this new product to get us to buy it? But I was that sucker that bought it and so far I've really loved what I've found in between. Um, these are one of my favorite products of the past year or like this category. Um, and in my day-to-day, -day, I'd say like this type of lip product is is what I reach for the most All right, let's actually get into it. I was having some Technical difficulties, so I had to relocate and this spot has decent lighting. So here we go. Okay, um, so I'll just start off talking about the YSL Volupt liquid color balm. It has a very bright pink looking pigment to it but it's actually really really similar just like a more healthy saturated version of the color on my lips already so this is like my true my lips but better lip product and at first it has a bit of a shine when it first comes out but then as you kind of live in it a little the shine kind of goes away and you just have this very natural skin like but hydrated plush looking lip and i love this product so much it's like one of my go-tos. It looks like I have nothing on. The doe foot is really cute. It's like kind of lip shaped. Um, it's very um, plush and comfortable to apply. The product is hydrating. And here's like a big thing about these products. I find that they don't just sit on top of the lips as I'd say the average lip gloss might. And, and because the lip, gloss, lip glosses are usually formulated with like oils and and occlusive ingredients, it, it does act as like a nice balm in most cases, but I find that with these three products especially, they do something to really sink into my lips and like actually moisturize them is what I've noticed. Um, so yeah, very pleasantly surprised about that. But also with these products, the shine kind of disappears and you're left with a very, very like skin-like looking lip as opposed to like a shiny lip so if you if you really want that like glossy look get an actual gloss um this one especially i find that it like here i'll, I'll tap it in a little and then it really ends up just looking like a sheer layer of of healthy lip you know, like maybe you exercised a little and now now there's like blood in your face. That was my first one and I loved it so much that when these other liquid lip balm type products kept popping up in like ads or at Sephora, I was really, really interested and like immediately drawn to buy them. All right, so moving on to the Rowan liquid lip balm, I have the shade Remy and this one. Uh... It's like a nude peachy color is how I guess I would technically describe it. As you can see, like there's a lot more shine right here uh, to this one than the YSL one. I find that the YSL one is like the least shiny for the longest period of time. And out of the gate, it's also the least shiny going on the lips. Um, it really, really does feel like a tinted lip balm and it's so it's so thin whereas this one 
there's a little more oomph to like the layer between your lips you can definitely feel the product there a little bit more than the YSL one um, for me this one is my least favorite out of the three but it's kind of like my own purchasing error this color is a hint too light for my lips if you were interested in this product I would definitely go for the color Charlie that one seems to be like the fan favorite out of the reviews I find um, so because of that I like if my lips are really flaky the lightness and like the white basedness of this product can kind of emphasize that and um, I guess I don't know for sure if another color would make it better or if it's the formula itself either way uh, that in conjunction with the fact that it's got this strong peppermint scent makes it not as fun for me to wear generally um, I'm not huge on peppermint scents in general or in my lip products it doesn't do that like really tingly thing by any means or like menthol-y feeling uh, it's just like slightly slightly cooling but not noticeable like if you ever had a minty lip balm or chapstick I, I don't think the the sensation is quite as noticeable as that uh, it is plush it is hydrating and it is like smoothing but out of the three that I have it's definitely not my favorite. If I were to try something again, I would most definitely go for a different shade. Yeah, I wish I had a little bit more to say about this product and it's, it's mostly like my own fault for choosing this color and maybe not liking it as much as another one. And I knew it was minty scented. I just really, really wanted to try it. But overall, I'm like not as impressed. And because I love these two so much, I just don't find myself reaching uh, for this product as much. It is nice in that like it's one of my few lighter shades So if I I have like a lip look and I'm like, ah, this kind of feels too dark. I kind of just slap this on over or Something like that Anyways moving on to the rare beauty liquid no, this one is a gloss bomb and I have the shade nearly mauve and I also got a sample of their shade in nearly neutral and that one is so pretty this one's nice too but this one is definitely much like more uh purpley and cooler it is the shades are also super sheer so oh yeah and the remy one is like the most opaque where i would say the rare beauty ones are the most sheer they really just give like a watercolor wash over your lips but it, it's like it's it's nice um, this formula is also like the most plush and you can kind of see here right like this one I find this one when I apply to that this one is like the most shiny when I first put on my lips but additionally on top of that the longer you wear this the more your, your skin really does just like suck up that moisture and you can kind of see the shine less like, I don't know if you can really tell, but I feel like this YSL one is just getting kind of sucked up. Which maybe, like, for another person, they would say, oh, it's, like, not long-lasting enough. But, anyways, getting back to the Wear Beauty one. Um, this product, it smells really nice. It smells like candy. Just, like, it, it just smells like sugar. <laughs> um, but it's, it's subtle. And it is so so plush it like creates a very smooth like hugging layer to your lips and when you mesh them together it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel slippy it just feels like there is a soft layer between them it's so cool I, I really enjoy this product as well in a different way than the YSL one this one is like very thin very easy to slap on and like it feels just like my lips but healthier whereas this one it feels like there's like a noticeable product on there but I enjoy the product and it doesn't feel like a lipstick it doesn't feel like a lip gloss it it does feel like like a really luxurious balm so just as a point of comparison, I went and swatched my Tower 28 gloss. I think this is in the shade Cashew. And it has much more pigment, but that varies from gloss to gloss. But in particular, it just has like way, way more of a shiny reflect than these other balm gloss type of items. 
And this shiny reflex I find stays and lasts on the lips as you wear it um, for like, I don't know, an hour or two, glosses don't last that long. Whereas these balm gloss type of products, they very quickly start to abs be absorbed into your lips and the shine does fade and it leaves, oh yeah, most importantly, <laughs> After the shine fades and that initial like plush layer of whatever you put on gets worn away, there is a distinct lasting feeling of moisturization for me. Like my lips will feel healthy and moist for a few hours, you know, as if I've put a lip balm on. And like, even if I wipe it off just after swatching them, I can still feel that my lips feel like nice and hydrated. Whereas when I remove a normal lip gloss, um, the feeling is not as like deeply penetrating, if that makes any sense. It, it kind of just feels like, oh, well now my lips, it's not like they're dry now, but they don't feel like they have been conditioned or like added to from another product. So that covers my experience with these balm gloss slash liquid lip balm type products. Overall, I really, really enjoy them. I find them more versatile and conditioning than normal lip glosses. Um, more versatile because I don't always want like to have a super glossy lip look. Uh, but all of these do make my lips look a little bit better. Um, I think something maybe worth doing would be like comparing this to like uh, a tinted lip balm like in an actual solid shape so I guess let me know if that's something you're interested in otherwise I hope this was helpful I wanted to keep this kind of short so if there are any questions feel free to ask below if you don't feel like I've covered everything that you want to know yeah so thank you for watching as always